hurry and never think about neatness again and again i am repeating this thing that mathematics is the subject that need formation and your neatness if you want good marks in mathematics you know that majority of my students they know all formulas they know how to uh, add subtract multiply and divide they know how what formulas are they know square root hcf lcm everything they know but when they solve it on a paper on a piece of paper on your examination or in your notebook the formation is not there and such a untidy work you give to your teacher that your teacher will not give you complete marks for that so remember that whenever you do mathematics do it with love Ma remember that all in all subjects mathematics is your friend so your friend should be neat and clean So let's start. If I will write first question that suppose that if we are writing three thousand nine hundred seventy six, and then I will tell you to subtract two thousand three hundred and twenty seven from it, then what you will do? It is very simple. You will put up and down, and you will subtract it. But if I will put up Digit decimal over here and one decimal over here. If I will read it like this, thirteen nine point seven six, and if I will never read thirty nine point seventy six. No, this is passa, so we have to read it like this: thirty nine point seven six and two point three two seven. Three two point not three hundred and twenty seven. You will not read it like this. You have to read it 2.327. Now, if you want to subtract it, you will write solve first. And first of all, you will write this number, that is 39.76. Then, as we did in mathematics, the same thing you are going to do is that this decimal point will come under decimal point, straight under decimal. decimal under decimal after decimal there is 3 2 after decimal 3 to 7 and before decimal is 2 so this 2 will come before decimal over here now what you are doing you are doing subtraction so it is better for you yourself that what you are going to do you will put zero at empty spaces why you are putting zero at empty spaces because you have to take a carry from your neighbor from the neighboring number and if i will not put zero over here how you can subtract this 7 if you will write 7 over here because there is no number or at the top so 7 comes out no in addition you can do this but in subtraction you have to subtract so for that we will fill empty spaces with zeros This was the empty space and this was the empty space. So both empty spaces I have filled with zero. Now from zero you cannot subtract seven. From zero you cannot subtract seven. So what you will do? You will take one from here. From this six you will borrow one. This will become ten. And you have borrowed from this six, so this will become five. With pencil you can do this cutting. Because from six you have taken one. This became ten, but six has given one, so six will become five. Now ten minus seven, ten minus seven is three. Three will come here, okay? Then five, five minus two is again three. You are not going to subtract from six because six has given one. Now it became five, so five minus two is three. Then seven minus three will become four. Decimal will come here, and nine minus two, 
9 minus 2 is 7 because 7 plus 2 is 9. So 9 minus 2 is 7. And 3 minus 0 is 3. This will be your answer. Now suppose if I will write another question and if I will write 127.96. 127.96 minus 39. Now again the same thing is there that there is no decimal point. There is no decimal point. So what you will do is that when you will write solve, you know when there is no decimal point, it means if we read it like this, 127 rupees 0.96 pesos then it means this is 39 rupees and there is no pesa there is there therefore there is no decimal so we will write first we will write 127.96 and subtracting this 39 because this 39 is rupees not pesos so it will come before decimal this is decimal so it will come before decimal now again, what you are doing, you are subtracting. You are subtracting the question. So fill in the gaps with zeros. Three gaps are there and we have placed three zeros. Six minus zero is six. Nine minus zero is nine. Now, from seven you cannot subtract nine. So from two we will take one. This will become seventeen. And this two has given one, so it will become one. 17 minus 9. The best way is you are going to subtract 9 from 17. So after 9 what comes? After 9? 10. So come from here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So what are these numbers? 3 and 3, 6 and 2, 8. So 17 minus 9 will become 8. Now what is left over here? 1. From 1 you cannot subtract 3. So you will take 1 from here, what will be remaining over here is 0. 11, 11 minus 3, after 3 comes 4, so we will count 4 till 11, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so the answer is 8 and you know 8 plus 3 becomes 11, so 11 minus 3 will become 8, 0 and 0 means zero. So 88.96 is your answer. It is seen, if you have watched the, my video on addition with a decimal, it is just like that. Now we will do one more question and suppose if I will say that if I will write 63.71 and if I will subtract 0 0.9 from this. So what you will do is that you will write solve and then you will write 63.71 and what you will do now? Decimal point will come under decimal point. So this decimal point will come here. After decimal is 9 and before decimal is 0. You got my point? Decimal point will come under this decimal point. After decimal point is 9 and before decimal point is 0. Now, fill the spaces. 1, 0 come here and 1, 0. We are filling the spaces because what we are doing? We are doing subtraction. 1 minus 0 is 0? No. 1 minus 0 is 1. 7 minus 9. From 7 can you subtract 9? No, 7 is a lesser number, smaller number. So what you will do, you will take 1 from this 3. This 3 will become 2. Now 17 minus 9. So what I told you, that bigger number is 17, smaller number is 9. So count from 9 till 17. After 9 it comes 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 17 minus 9 is 8. 
17 minus 9 is 8. Clear? Now, what is remaining over here? 2. Because from 3 we have given 1 carry. So 2 is there. So 2 minus 0 is 2. And 6 minus 0 is 6. So my dear students, this is how that we do subtraction with the decimal. And my dear teachers, please, when you explain this topic in class, explain it in this simple way. So that student will go, do tell that orally, don't explain mathematics, always solve on board. And solve, don't go with exercise only. Give them some reference questions that they, they should know that only if 0 0.9 is there or 39 is there, how they will act. Because they are not going to learn only exercise. They have to learn for future also. That what they are going, in next class what they are going to do, they must get some hint that how they will add kilometers and meters. So remember that this should be done in class. So thank you for watching. And uh, as usually I will say that uh, if you like my videos, please those who have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. And uh, if you want to wait for my next videos, then please press the bell icon. Otherwise you have to go to YouTube and you have to search search Javi disease or your family channel. So instead of that, if you will press the bell icon, then what you will do first subscribe, then press the bell icon. As soon as Sir Javed will upload any video, it will come straight to you. And very soon, I'm going for reading, the video on reading, how to read properly, what is the difference between reading a paragraph and reading a poem, how to read a verse, and stories also. Young children, be happy. Very soon, you will find some good stories from Sir Javed movies for you only. Thank you very much. Love you all and take care. Allah Hafiz.